Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Yeah, come on. There you go. Ooh. Maybe Forest Cobra can. Okay, did you have a nice drink, huh? You're still drinking. That's good. Drinking is very good for little baby cobras. Okay. Hi, how are you? Welcome. Welcome, would you like a little drink, huh? I see you got a little shed stuck on your tail. Here, have some water. Have some water and we'll take care of that shed. And we'll take care of that little tail of yours. Have some water first. Oh yeah, you're dehydrated. I can see that. I can see you're dehydrated. Have some water. Yeah, there you go. Come on, let's see those little jaw muscles work. Oh, there we go. That was a drink. That was a slurp. There you go. Come on. Come on. There we go. See, we'll get the little bit of the stuck first shed off uh, their backside here in a moment after he takes a drink because afterwards he will not be interested in taking a drink. I promise you. Hello. Hi. There you go. That's good. That's good. No touching the bottle. Some of these, <laughs> some snakes really like to sort of suck it right out of the bottle here, right out of the straw, but I try not to let them do that for hygienic reasons. Yeah, yeah. Suck up that water, suck up that water, yeah, and drink as much as you can. There we go, that's a good little guy. There we go. Yeah, you're dehydrated. You're dehydrated and that's probably why you didn't shed so well. All right, um, let me shut the camera down here for a minute and and take care of your tush. See now it's a little frantic, but no longer has uh, has a stuck shed. Okay, number seven. No, oh, and here we got the first shed too. We got the first shed, huh? That was pretty bold of me, but they're generally uh, not too vicious this time. Come on, here, have some water. Here, have some water. There you go. Have some water. There you go. Good guy. Have some water, yeah. I bet you're thirsty. I bet you're thirsty. Oh yeah, there we go. Have some water. Have some nice water. I'm going to give you a little bit of water for your tail. Oh, you got it all off all by yourself. Okay, we don't have to do that to you then, huh? You don't have to do that. Here, drink some more. Come on. Drink some more. Got lots of water here for you. Plenty to drink at this bar. Plenty to drink. Little babies are so cute. So they get to be teenagers and then they're obnoxious. They're fine until they get the foot and a half, two foot, maybe a meter length. And then they just uh, are full of themselves and very difficult to work with. Okay. And now we're off the... Here's something very cool that I don't uh, normally uh, even bother to look at, but... My computer has eight processors all working in parallel to process the videos that you see in 12 gigabytes of uh, RAM. 
right now uh, all the cached RAM 8.8 .8 gigabytes is essentially used all eight processors are chugging along at about 55% uh, capacity uh, to process uh, uh, the video that's uh, happening right now which we'll see in, in some weeks uh, to come normally this process of, uh, of uh, rendering the video and turning it into a uh, an appropriate uh, uh, MPEG movie used to take me literally overnight to produce a 10 minute video uh, but I've uh, increased the processing power of my computer the fastest uh, CPU the fastest uh, memory as well as uh, lots of storage uh, all allows me to process uh, videos in about 20 minutes uh, so it's uh, really uh, quite a quite astounding as it chugs through uh, the video frame by frame uh, turning it into an MPEG and as you see those uh, processors are rather busy uh, uh, as things go along very cool stuff. Okay, this is number three for this little beastie. Here you go. Oh, that's a good boy. Look at that, huh? Look at that. You got him? Baby Black Mamba Cam. Good boy. You're not being weirded out by the camera, are you? Oh, good stuff, huh? Good stuff. Look at him go. I tell you, Mambas put down food really fast, especially the Black Mambas. They like to get those weapon systems back online as rapidly as possible. How was that, huh? Three fuzzies. Hmm. Three fuzzies a week. That's probably a good load. Maybe four. We'll see. Oh, is that nice, huh? Look at that. Oh, that's very nice, huh? Look at that, huh? And we're not even so hyper. We're not even so hyper, are we, huh? Are you looking for another one, huh? Let me squeeze that puppy down. Ooh, baby. Oh, very nice. Very nice. And there's Mr. Camera. There you are. That's you. That's you. Here, check it out. Check it out. As long as I can see where the where the pointy end is, I at least have a shot of evading it. See? Yeah. That's you, Mr. Mamba. See? That camera's not going to hurt you. That camera's not going to hurt you. There you go, bud. We don't often visit with this bad boy, the Malayan Pit Viper. With good reason. It is exceptionally quick. Can go a hell of a long distance in a single bound. Yes, like Superman. Come on. Ah. 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 I'm a Malayan pit viper and I am mean. Hey bud, good job. There you go. The Malayan pit viper likes chicks too. What do you think?
No, you don't? You don't like chicks? I know you like chicks. Now, when I came in here earlier tonight, don't say no, you were. Your head was way back there. And you knew I was going to be visiting with treats. No, don't give me that. You knew exactly what was going on. I was coming in with treats, wasn't I? Yeah, you bet. Would you like one? Would you like a treat? Would you like a chick? You're not going to answer me now. Would you like a chick? Yeah, okay. I'll get you a chick. But first, but first I have to put Mr. Uh, uh, Rotostoma here away. Alright, go on, go on. I don't mess with him too much. I don't have serum for him and that would, he would kill me if he bit me. Well, look at this. This is a very unhappy uh, female Jameson Mamba that recently came in and uh, managed to shed in the... Sorry, I'm going to have to reposition this. There we go. This is a little better. Come on, focus on my hand. Thank you. There we go. Uh, she came in in shed in the bag and she's now done a partial shed uh, and she had a stuck eye cap but uh, I know you're unhappy I know you can see that little pointy fang there and she knows how to use them so what I did is I pulled the eye cap relax relax sweetheart I know, I know you're upset. I'm sorry I had to do this, but that's the breaks. Uh, and her substrate was wet because she spilled her water. So I had to at least change the, the cage. And once the cage is uh, clean with new substrate, I'll put her back in. But I pulled the eye cap at the same time. Um, I put her in with the male, but I've got Kermit in with the male, and she's rather cantankerous in PMSing at the moment. Well, it looks like Miss Taipan Shed. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I know you're twitchy. I know you're twitchy. You're a twitchy snake. I can see you being twitchy. And there we go. A taipan shedding. Let's see, did she kill it and tie it in knots? Yeah, here. Perfect type in knot. <clears throat> I'll have to try to get it undone. So wetting your ass down, much to your displeasure, uh, actually helped you out last night, huh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, a little curious tongue flick there. Hello. Are you ready to eat tonight? Huh? Are you ready for some chow? Okay, well, let's uh, get going then. Let's see if our freshly shed Taipan is interested in some uh, some food. Yes, no, maybe. Oh, okay. There you go. You didn't want to play tonight. You just wanted to uh, make sure it was dead so you can eat it, huh? Alright. Wow, she must be hungry. Usually she farts around for a while before eating. Oh, 
no, come on, don't come over and bother me. Come on, go eat your rodent. I'm just watching. I'm a voyeur. There you go. It's just a cam. Yeah, okay. Let your fangs do the walking. <laughs> That's a very smooth technique there, sweetheart. It's sort of like, you know, guys uh, are out with their date. Uh, kissing can easily lead to the neck and beyond there, just as fluidly. Of course, only if there's mutual cooperation. What, you're not far enough away from the camera yet? No. Oh, you are a pain in the butt. Oh, that's where you're going to eat it, huh? <laughs>